Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Saab, uh, Professor Saab, uh, Director Mohaday, and uh, all the great scholars. I'm honored and uh, very happy um, to be with all of uh, all of you. A dignified gathering, a virtual gathering. I'm so happy. Last night I received your kind message through. Uh, our respected ADM Kaza uh, Spiti, uh, my friend uh, Mr. Jan Sagar Negi, and uh, then he conveyed your willing, uh, your wish that me to be here for a few minutes and uh, take part in this event. And I came to know that you have organized this event as a uh, to mark uh, the, what do you call, Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar's birthday, which is uh, tomorrow. So I'm very happy, but uh, I'm, uh, as uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Saab has uh, mentioned in my introduction, that I'm a, a Buddhist philosopher. Uh, I'm merely Buddhist philosopher and uh, um, uh, something uh, more to do with the spiritual field. And um, I have no knowledge about history. And I don't know much about um, the biography of respected Dr. Ambedkar. But of course, we, have, we, uh, we all have some uh, knowledge about Dr. Ambedkar. And we have heard that, uh, heard of him and his, his great contribution uh, to this country, that we all are aware of that. And um, as uh, Professor Saab mentioned, Director Saab mentioned uh, that he became Buddhist in his uh, later part of his life. And uh, he, as uh, he used this, nowadays, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama of Tibet, he suggested that maybe it is better to use the terminology that um, instead of uh, Mahayana and Hinayana, which we used to say, and his advice to us is that we say Sanskrit tradition, followers of Sanskrit tradition, that is Mahayana and Tantrayana, and um, Pali, uh, followers of Pali tradition, that is Theravada tradition, or uh, earlier we call Hinayana tradition. So, uh, so uh, Dr. Ambedkar is more with uh, Pali tradition, uh, that is uh, uh, mostly in uh, Southeast Asia. Is it Southeast Asia? Uh, Thailand, Burma, uh, Sri Lanka, all these places. And then other places like uh, you know, uh, Tibet, Indian Himalaya region, Mongolia, China, and these are, we are mostly followers of uh, Sanskrit tradition. So that I just wanted to, uh, uh, just wanted to give this information. And then of course, uh, Dr. Ambedkar followed uh, mainly Pali tradition, but basic uh, philosophy and basic practice, uh, there is no difference between the traditions. It's the same. So it is very important, I believe, now when, when we talk about the Buddhism, Buddhist, Buddhist philosophy, this is nothing to do with the religion. Uh, this is to do with reality. This is only, only to do with the reality. What is the reality? Reality, for example, the water is uh, a, not a solid phenomenon. Water is fluid. That is universal. Similarly, uh, fire is hot. Uh, the, the nature of fire is hot. This is universal. So Buddha, Buddha Shakyamuni brought it the reality into uh, our life. He introduced the reality 
and he advised us to realize the reality. So, so it is nothing to do with the term religion. Uh, so I think uh, uh, we can apply uh, the Buddhist practice um, no matter we believe in Buddhism or we believe in Buddha Shakyamuni or we believe in some other things, it doesn't matter that much. Nowadays, the scientists also, they have st started to accept the Buddhist philosophy that all the professors, you all must be aware of that. I don't have to mention. So, because it is uh, very uh, close to the reality. So now, the main thing is, uh, we all want peace, happy, happiness. So, how to get the happiness? That is uh, the question, the big question. So, so the Buddha's basic answer to this is Panchil. You know Panchil? That is called the five uh, moral ethics. And that is a very important. When we have, when we practice that, there, there will be peace automatically. We don't have to uh, make great effort to bring peace in the world, to bring peace in the country, to bring peace, peace in the state, to bring peace in the family, all can be done if we practice Panchashila. So I believe Dr. Ambedkar also might have noticed the Panchashila is the base of all the happiness and he, he, might, have, uh, he might have drafted, uh, as he is the architect of our constitution, he might have drafted on the base of uh, the Panchashila. So uh, I think this is very important. Moral ethics is getting um, deteriorated in the world, in the country, in the family, in the society. So the more problems are invited, so the more trouble uh, comes to our life. So the, that is what uh, Dr. Amb and then all you know that he, he was the architect of our constitution, the great constitution which we uh, exercise and which we enjoy um, till now. So because our constitution is a great constitution, uh, incompatible with other constitutions, because it provides all the rights, it provides equality among um, genders, equality among races, equality among um, different uh, beliefs, so that is very important important for individuals. And at the same time, there's socialism. Socialism is also very important for the society. And the capitalism, I haven't studied uh, economy, so I don't have much idea about economy. But for, uh, without economy, we cannot survive. So socialism, only socialism will not be uh, enough for our society, to grow our society, uh, to develop our country. So we need capitalism as well. Capitalism, socialism, democracy, all together. That is a wonderful system. Uh, I mean, uh, for, for, uh, for till now, we haven't found any better system than this. That is what I believe. So uh, Dr. Ambeker uh, has introduced this and we are enjoying this. We must enjoy uh, his uh, uh, great gift. Uh, that is, uh, that is uh, what I feel a uh, great, uh, and uh, also uh, from time to time, the uh, Bhagwans, they come to our uh, earth, on, uh, on our earth, and then they try to help us. For example, Buddha Shakyamuni, uh, he came to, um, this world 2,500 something years ago. At the same time, Bhagwan Mahave was there to help the uh, um, humanity. And similarly, 60, 70 years ago, 80 years ago, I don't know, uh, Dr. Ambedkar came to this world. I'm quite sure, I have no doubt, his uh, emanation of Bhutisattva who have come to this country 
to um, establish peace in this country, to give, uh, to provide equality and uh, uh, fundamental rights to all the citizens. That is what I believe, and I don't, uh, I don't want to take m much time because all, all of you are great scholar, so I'm not a great scholar. It is, uh, uh, it is not appropriate to talk too much in front of great scholars. I feel shy. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, and I, I wish you a great success uh, of this uh, event. Thank you so much. Buddha bless all of us. Thank you.